Hey, Tracy here with BibleJournalingMinistries.com and I'm excited to do a Bible journaling entry today with you using our latest Creative Faith Crew printables. This is Psalm chapter 57 verse 7 through 10 is the verse that we're working on today. And we're going to be using these cute girls that I designed on my iPad. So I hope that you enjoy using them. And if you like them, please let me know and we can definitely design some more. I had a great time playing with them and just having just a lot of fun creating them for you. So I hope that you enjoy them. In the printable set, you get the set of girls and then you get two washi tape elements. So you get the little eyelashes and then one that's kind of coordinating some hexes, pointers, and a tab. And then on the second sheet, so you get two sheets with this, you get the verse that you can cut up and use, and then you get some other elements. So this one says, I will sing praises to you, and you have a lot of the heart, a lot of the musical notes because talking about singing. I myself am not the most wonderful singer, or singer but I feel sorry for those who stand in front of me in church because I will sing as much as I can. <laughs> <laughs> I have so much fun singing, but I do feel sorry for those who have to sit in front of me at church. Okay, so the things you're going to need, obviously your Bible, your creative, creative Faith Crew printables, you can definitely cut them out and use them just individually. Just use scissors and fussy cut around them and you can use them and have lots of fun with them. Today what I have done is I print mine out on the silhouette. I usually do this anyways just to test to make sure the cuts are good for those of you that use a die cut tool. I usually will cut mine out just to verify that they work well. So today I have cut mine out. I use a standard shipping label, eight and a half by 11 plain shipping label and then I go ahead and put it through my silhouette machine and you can see they come out just like stickers. So I just trace them and they come out like stickers and that's what I'll be using today. I'll also be using a couple colors of paint. So I just chose this heavy body acrylic ocean green color along with the titanium white. You can use any acrylic paint that you have. These ones I picked up super on clearance at the Hobby Lobby, so I just have them, but you can use any color that you want. This is from a Bray Race line. I will also be using a scraper. This just came in the mail. It was just a piece of ad, so I just grabbed it. It was it's nice, like a credit card, so I thought I would use it. A micron pen as well. I'm going to cover my work surface with a Teflon sheet, like a craft mat. Ranger craft mats are awesome. I just find that they wear out just as much as these wear out and these are so much cheaper, so I use these. And I will go ahead and place a cut up craft mat because when they wear out, what do you do with them? I cut mine out and use them for my Bible so I don't mess up any of the other pages. So in the verse for today, we are reading chapter seven, I mean, chapter 57 in Psalm, verse 7 through 10, and it reads, My heart is confident in you, O God, my heart is confident. No wonder I can sing your praises. Wake up, my heart, wake up, O lyre and harp. I will wake the dawn with my song. I will thank you, Lord, among all the people. I will sing your praises among the nations, for your unfailing love is as high as the heavens, your faithfulness reaches the clouds. I love that. So awesome. Just thinking about having the opportunity to pray and sing to our Lord is amazing. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take my acrylic paint and I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of this card. You can use a credit card, an expired credit card if you want, or you can use a gift card that maybe doesn't have any value left on it. Just make sure that whatever you're using is you would normally either re probably throw it away is what I would suggest. If if it's something that you would normally throw away, I think it would be great to use as a scraper. And this one, like I said, just came in the mail. So normally it would have been tossed out. But not today. Today the ad will be used in the Bible journaling video. Then I'm going to take some white and just kind of go over that just a little more on top of the blue. Just to kind of Lighten it up just a little bit. And all I'm doing is just creating some color and some interest as I'm thinking about the verse. So whenever you're Bible journaling, you want to, you know, as you're creating and starting to create the different pieces of your layout, 
you want to be thinking about the verse and how does it sing to your heart? How does it, how do you, how do you relate to the verse? How is it calling to you? Do I want to sing? Do I want to praise my God and worship him? Absolutely. I will spare you the <laughs> misery of listening through my singing. We all have different gifts and singing is is a wonderful gift for those who have it. I just, I am so in awe of those who can get up on stage and then just belt out a most beautiful worship song. Now, I love the way I sing. Because <laughs> it, it is what God gave me as my voice. So I am loving the way I sing, but it is not the same <laughs> As other people who sing. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward while I dry this out. All right, I am back and now I'm just going to go ahead and add some of the elements here. I do want to underline my verse so I don't forget which one we are working on. I do love to underline my verse. You do not have to do that. So I typically will underline it. And a lot of this is really for me in location. Just as I underline, I'm actually reading what I'm underlining. So this is at least the second or third time I have thought about this verse during our session. So, I mean, you can see the value in Bible journaling, just the amount of time you spend just on one verse and really taking it in is important and just really helps me to think about the singing praises to my Lord. And, you know, we all have different skill sets. <laughs> and um, singing may not be your skill set, um, but it might be. And um, I would encourage you, even if it's not your skill set, like it isn't my skill set, to continue to sing praises to the Lord. I think um, the Lord delights in us worshiping Him and just being with Him. I find that when I sing, it helps me, my heart starts to flutter, I guess is kind of a good way to say it. My heart starts to flutter. I really just start thinking about how amazing our Lord is. So I would encourage you to just think about spending some time with God in His Word and maybe singing a, a, a worship song to Him and thank Him for all the wonderful things that He has done in your life. So I'm going to go ahead and just place the rest of these stickers down. So I'm just going to fast forward through this part so you don't have to watch me stick stickers down. And then we'll go ahead and talk in just a bit. Okay, I am back. Just a couple more notes for you. As you may have noticed that I did not prep my page. And um, you don't really have to prep your page when you're working with acrylics. What you're seeing here on this side is just some shadowing effect because the Bible journaling pages are so thin that you can see a little bit of the blue, but it's not bleed through. It's just on the other side of the page. So when you're working with acrylics, especially the heavy body ones, you don't have to worry about them soaking through. But if you are concerned, be sure to prep your page. It also does smooth on really quite nicely when you do prep your page. But that's entirely up to you. I never prep my page unless I need to. Um, I would prefer to spend that time just digging deep into the Word. And as we close up Psalms 57, just another quick note. As David was running from Saul, he fled into this cave. He fled into this cage and just was with the Lord. And he was very distressed his enemies had set a trap for him and he just calls out to the Lord about how much he is confident in him how much he loves him and is is just saying you know my heart is confident in you my heart is steadfast in you and I will sing your praise so I encourage you that when you're going through difficult times like David did just to reach out to the Lord and sing his praises and you will be delivered. Um, just thank you so much for your time. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments. I'm happy to answer them. Um, be sure to visit us online at BibleJournalingMinistries.com and like and subscribe to our channel. Have a wonderful day now. We will talk to you soon. Goodbye. <music>